this is by far my favorite car of all time absolutely this is a one of 450 2000 saturn swp now if you weren't paying attention a minute ago uh you're thinking maybe just this is just a saturn wagon you know what's what's so cool and special about this now swp stands for saturn wagon postal this is a right-hand drive from factory Saturn wagon. I mean, look, even the windshield wipers are reversed. And this is the only Saturn that came with foldable side view mirrors. You can see all the battle scars from all the mailboxes it's hit. <laughs> but this is by far my favorite car of all time. I mean, oh my goodness, this is, I can't believe I even have this. If you've been following my Instagram, you'll see that I actually bought this a few days ago, but only just now, uh, last night, brought it home. I probably could have driven it home, but I was there with my brother, and he's a mechanic, and he was like, it's probably a safe idea, just in case. The struts are a little worn out, needs a little bit of an alignment. Um, but, I mean, there's some, the bumper's a little cracked and messed up. I'm not too worried about exterior condition. I mean, everything works as it should. It works. I mean, it's, it's she's a little loud. She's got an exhaust leak. And the light fitment, as you can tell, is a little off. But I will look into it. I'll fix it up. Not a big deal. As long as it works, that's really all that matters to me. But she's beautiful. And I just can't believe this is mine. I am... I can't believe this is my car. <laughs> Let's open the hood. The latch is a, uh, it's definitely a fixer upper. Got the nice Saturn floor mat. I haven't cleaned her out or anything. This is how I got her. I will definitely be cleaning it. Uh, that wasn't there. I'm probably gonna take those out, honestly. Um, that's just the bottom of the back seat. The the top half of the back seat's right there. They were outside, and the dude said that they, you know, might not be in great condition. Let's see. There we go. I'll have to fix that hood latch. That shouldn't be too hard to do though. Let's pop the hood on this bad girl. Am I blind? Where's the latch? What the heck? Give me a minute. I, there we go. It's a little bit different from mine. There we go. All right, give me a second. There she is. So as you can see, that's on the wrong side but i mean other than that it's pretty much the same this actually is an engine that came out of a 2002 sl1 as you can see uh, the guy was telling me about it apparently do i have coolant i don't think i'm leaking coolant shouldn't be i can't open it right now i've had the engine running i'll have to check that later uh i won't be running it too long because i'm not 100 percent positive if there's a coolant leak or not i don't think there is but I will look into it while this I'm gonna get this bumper fixed for sure but there she is everything's working I mean it's obviously not the cleanest she's 23 years old only 450 of these were made in the year 2000 they made these for three years I made them from 1999 to 2001 they made 450 for each year and there's probably way less than 450 of each year on the road now if I had to guess I mean, these things are scarce. I mean, a lot of them got actually did get used as postal wagons, and they got beat on. I mean, this one has 375,000 miles on the body, 100,000 on the transmission and engine. But either way, I'm keeping her alive, that's for sure. I love this thing. Now let's get the hood down and get her running. So, I will say, she's a little loud. 375,000 miles. It's hard to see, but... 375,115. She's a little loud, but, uh... There's an exhaust leak, and there's some rattling that happens. Um, actually, it's not really rattling much anymore. Oh, no, there it is might not hear it as easily on camera but there is a little bit of rattling going on but we are 
on the right side of this Saturn wagon and we are driving okay yeah I definitely see where the alignment is uh, it's not too bad though honestly I mean struts are he said wearing out so I'm gonna that's probably gonna be the first thing that gets fixed is the struts I need to fix those uh, the steering wheel as you can see worn down to the metal I mean this thing this is how it's supposed to be this thing is just absolutely worn through so that'll have to be replaced that's not a big deal I won't be able to uh, I won't be able to put a quick release steering wheel on it or anything cool like that for like seven years or let's see has to be 30 years old so yeah for another seven years and then I can uh, put a cool steering wheel on this only four more years and I could put a cool steering wheel on the chalkboard Saturn also I will be manual swapping this it is an automatic all of them came automatic from factory because they're made for delivering mail of course so it'd be really hard to uh, deliver mail and change gears at the same time so they made all of them an automatic from factory of course same with right hand drive the thing that goes out most commonly in these is the rack and pinion uh, people are always looking for them they're always going out going bad and since there was such a small amount of these it's really really hard to find them so I'm hoping I get lucky and I hope that doesn't happen to me squirrel stay in the okay um, because I don't really want to have to try to deal with trying to find one of those I mean I probably could eventually or find look it up find a way to get it to work regardless like uh, some other one that still works or maybe some some people make one that works but finding an OEM one is getting pretty close to impossible but uh, either way this thing's a blast I can't wait to get this on the road and registered that will be happening once I get the struts fixed I mean once the struts are fixed all it'll really need is an alignment and then it's just cosmetics I mean other than like the an exhaust leak and things like that but I mean that's all it'll really need so that I can actually drive it on the road safely I don't think this thing has ever really gone over like 50 miles an hour because uh, it was used for mail stuff I mean maybe every now and then but I highly doubt this thing has ever really gone that fast so I just want to make sure I'm not gonna go that quick until I've fixed up what's on wrong with it stuff like that which I'm gonna be working on soon because I actually plan to make this my daily driver for a bit once I get it on the road and fixed up and registered and so I can give the chalkboard Saturn a bit of a break I've been using that thing a lot put a lot of miles on it not that many I mean it's still at like hundred and thirty four thousand or so which for a 97 is pretty good also I will be getting the SC running pretty soon uh, just gotta change that fuel pump and then it'll actually start and I'll be able to see what else is wrong with it let's do a quick little acceleration with this wagon down the street here these are all private and safe roads don't worry here we go I do think this tire doesn't hold air because it feels like it's empty again I just filled it before this video I think there's probably a hole in the tire I might be able to just plug it but uh here we go Oh yeah she goes she likes it she definitely she'll go she's a little loud uh, it's because of the exhaust leak but it's not like super obnoxious and it won't last forever I will eventually most likely oh yeah those those struts are making a lot of noise I will eventually most likely uh, put an exhaust on it but get some uh, get a little woozy smelling all these gas fumes Oh god, and the door closes on you. But either way, I love her. I'm so excited. I finally own an SWP. This has been my dream car for a while now. I wanted to get the second gen because this is a third gen. It's a 2000. It's a third gen Saturn wagon. Uh, easy way to tell just by looking at the hood. See the lines go outwards. On a second gen, kind of hard to tell on this right now, but the lines go straight. Also, the logo is smaller and the lights are a little different. See this? The badge is much bigger and the lights have like the orange. I actually prefer 
those lights a lot more, but it is what it is. I'm gonna buy a new bumper, get that all fixed up, because also this plastic's missing. Let me go ahead and shut it off. Just in case there is a coolant problem. I'm not 100% positive right now. Uh, I'll have to check it once it's cooled down, but I don't think there is. I think that was just... Basically, when we went to look at it on Saturday, there was some liquid on the coolant hose, and I don't know if it was coolant. We didn't really stay long enough to really check. Um, I don't think it is because there's nothing now, so I think it might have just been some water or something, but I'll check it once the engine's cooled down. Also, let me check this tire. See if... Oh, no, it's okay. So, it might be slowly leaking air, but not bad. It's got steelies on it right now. I might throw... I don't know, this is a throwback. I don't think any of you watching is going to remember this. But do you remember the hubcaps that this used to have? I called them the cheese graters. Let me let me go find them. All right, I got one. So, these are what was originally on the chalkboard Saturn. I called them the cheese graters because it felt like it looked like a cheese grater, um, kind of. I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to decide if I want to throw these on the wagon just so they're not steelies or not. I mean... Let me go ahead and put them on, or at least one, see how it looks. Alright, well there's one. Honestly, that doesn't look that bad. I'm probably going to throw them on there then, just so that it's not steelies. I don't hate steelies, but that looks a little better. That does look a little better. I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to throw those on. I'm not a huge fan of those hubcaps. I think they look funny. I haven't actually seen them on the car in forever. I haven't looked at these. Wow, that's that's a throwback. I mean, one of the first things I did to this thing was put the Miata wheels on it. Shout out to if you remember those. Actually, I had those pretty recently, but... But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw those on, and then we'll do a walk around. All right. Actually, I don't know. I don't mind it. That doesn't look bad. This I had this little cap fall off, but I'll look into getting that back on. But that doesn't look bad, honestly. I don't mind that at all. The hood's a different silver, but none of the outside stuff really matters. I'm going to be painting this. I'm going to be painting it all white. If you don't know, that's the chalkboard Saturn. This is going to be the whiteboard wagon. I'm going to paint this white, and then I'm going to buy... It's it's way more expensive than chalkboard paint, but it's a, a coat you put over paint, and it makes it dry erase. So I'm going to paint it white, and then put that on it. It's going to be the whiteboard wagon, and then I'm going to have both of these... And the SC is going to be, the SC is going to have normal paint. Wow, that's, I got to take a picture of that. That's amazing. The SC is going to be, um, it's going to have, you've seen it on my Instagram. It's going to have red and then a silver undertone, one of the factory options. And then I'm going to basically just make it like a mini race car. I might even turbo it. I mean, just for fun. It's going to stay street legal, but it's going to be really fun. Anyway, I I love this thing. I'm so excited to finally have this. I can't wait to get it fixed up and on the road. I'm going to go through drive throughs backwards. I'm going to go through drive throughs forwards. I'm going to go through the Chick-fil-A thing where they walk up to your door and ask you what you want. And it's going to be funny because they're going to be over there and I'm going to be on this side. It's great. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Why is that light on? I think there's some... Some weird battery stuff going on. I'll just turn it off for now. There we go. Ugh. All right, let's see if I can set up the camera and get some views of me driving by. See what I can do here. All right, let's try this out.
I love this thing. Yeah, I think it's safe to say, wow, that was a really cool picture. Hold on, set this back. I'm using my little picture thing here to get some pictures. Wow, I, I love this thing. I, oh my God, I cannot wait. Follow your dreams, guys. I am 18 years old and I have three Saturns. I'm still in my work clothes. I was so excited to get home and record this video. I'm still in my work clothes. I love this car. I love this car. I'm gonna lower it. It's okay, so I'm not gonna do what I did. I'm not gonna put a kit on it. I'm gonna keep it stock, like bumper wise. Um, I might put a roof rack on it. I'm still debating since it's gonna be whiteboard. I'm not too sure yet. Let me get a thumbnail. There we go. I'm not too sure yet if I'm going to put a roof rack on it um, because I don't want it to get in the way of writing. So I might not put a roof rack. I think it would look cool, but I might save that for another wagon that I get. I'm probably going to get another wagon for sure at some point in the future. I want to get a first gen wagon, but I mean, this thing's low enough already. I, I can ride all over this thing once it's painted. I'm so excited. I love this car. Thank you guys for supporting me and what I do. Thank you for loving the chalkboard Saturn and the soon-to-be whiteboard wagon. I love all of you so much. My hands are dirty because I was working on stuff, and yeah, ignore that, but thank you guys for everything you do. I love all of you. I appreciate all your support so much. You're all so amazing. Oh man, I gotta get, I gotta, I'm gonna do a whole photo shoot after this. Go on to my Instagram at Saturn Spotter, as, same as my YouTube channel name to see some of the pictures of these cars together. I gotta get them before we run out of daylight. There's a plane. Anyway. Thank you guys so much. Follow your dreams. You can do it. Do not give up. I own three of my favorite cars of all time at 18 years old. You can do it. Don't give up. You still have time. Wow, I need to move that out of the way. That really ruins the picture. Anyway. I'll see you all in the next video, whatever it may be. I love you guys.